The Bible says, but he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly father had not planted shall be rooted up. Praise the Lord. Glorious God, beautiful King and great God. I thank you for you alone is the Almighty, that is mighty than the mighty. I set my plans in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord God, my Father, I surrender my life to you. Forgive me of all my sins. Wash away all my iniquities. Create in me a new heart. And make me a vessel of honor. Feed for the roots all the days of my life. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I pray you, fill me with holy words and fire in the name of Jesus.
heaven or hell. Choose. Whether we like it or not, whether we believe it or not, for every life that enter into this world, when they depart, they will be faced with two destinations. Thank you. 
Whatever you do that will send you to the throne of the divine. Whatever we are doing as a church that will send us to the Lord the divine. In Jesus' name, it is done. Are you happy to, to say amen? Amen. Okay, nobody will get to help you. If I go to God now, it will be only me. And if God wants to show me mercy, he will let me see the church. Ah, please come. He said, Come here, my boy. On so so and so day, you lied. I said, I know it was a mistake. You know, the way, when you do the research, every wrong is being marked up. They mark your wrongs and they look at what you are scored. And in heaven, and at the gate, every exam that you have written on your head, they will show you, will show you the results. What will I tell you? That's my fear. What will he tell God? <clears throat> Matthew 25. Matthew 25. Let's read together quickly from verse 31 to 46. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels will be, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations. And shall separate them one from another as the sheep divide, as the shepherd divided the sheep from the goat. And he shall set the sheep on the right hand, or the goat on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on the right hand, Come be blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was a hunger, and he gave me meat. I was thirsty, and he gave me drink. I was a stranger, and he took me naked, and he clothed me. I was sick, and he visited me. I was in prison, and he came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer, saying, Lord, when saw we thee and hunger and fed thee, or thirsty and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, in as much as you have done it unto one of the least of this my brethren, you have done it unto me. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, he calls into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was a hunger, and he gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and he gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and he took me not in, naked, and he clothed me not, sick. And in prison, and he visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee an hunger, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch that you did it not to one of the least of these, you did it not to me. And they shall go away into everlasting punishment. For the righteous into life eternal. May God bless the name of His word in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever we are doing, we are it. According to the scripture, these are one of those things that will determine where we will go. We saw here two examples were given. Example of the sheep and the goats. The sheep, the Bible likens them to some of people that have compassion for others. They check on one another, they look with their hearts, they serve God, they obey God. And the shepherd brought them and keep them by the right hand side. But the goats, those are those that are mean. There are some people, oh, I know they vote for him, I can't help the poor. Anyone that says that, they are doing things that will send them next place to the fire. Whenever you mock those in problems, Whenever you become so demonic to those that are passing through challenges of life, thinking you are better off, that life is working expressly towards the fire. There are four facts of life I want you to take home today. Number one, naked you come, or naked you came to this world and naked shall go. You put money into this world and you leave this world with nothing. Is there a scripture? And is that certified as you think? Ecclesiastes 5 verse 15. And 
and as he came forth of his mother's womb, naked, shall he return to go as he came, and shall take nothing of his labor, which in a kind of way in his hand. All your works, all my works, I shall take nothing away. That's why this, no matter what you what you are, what you are acquired, not one for sure. The people that will spend those things are people that never work for it. Don't believe me. What you are sweating for, that makes you want to serve God, the day you go, the people that never work for it will squander the world. And when, if possible, if your spirit can move back, you will cry. Ah! I live so hard. And this person came and come my way. Have you not seen people that are very well when they die? When we see their children, uncles, aunties, when they come, they will lose the wealth. Some will even kill their families. They will kill the children. Say, yes, the father when he was alive, never gave us anything. And the father went all his life to acquire the wealth. And he will make the wealth for someone that never bought for it. What vanity life. So we get to this world. We get to this world. 1 Timothy 6, verse 7. 1 Timothy 6, 7. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out of it. We brought nothing into this world. It is certain we carry nothing out of it. At times I look at my house, and I look at the police and say, ah, one day, one day of course you must die when I'm gone. Someone will take over. It may not be my children. They will try to sell the house. Alright? So this thing is a great problem for us. We relocate this to somewhere else. This dad is full of this house. Let's sell it. And what? I will come out for more in the ring with the sun. Vanity of vanity. All of this vanity. You never so hard, you will make it for someone who never worked for it. What you pay for? So after you do those things, they have no judgment. Then where will you go after you have abandoned God on earth because of material things and you get to the gate of judgment, judgment seats. And the name is not found in the book of life. Ah. That will be our portion. Number two, fact of life. Whatever you sow, you shall show you it. Get it right. If you learn, if you know how to sow this corn, keep sowing it. You will reap it. You learn to sow all kinds of evil. You learn to, to, you learn to sow evil among brothers. Keep doing it. I will tell you the change. You will surely reap it. Galatians said, God cannot be mocked. Be not deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man shall reap whatever he sows. Galatians said, so if you like, you know there was a time when I read something. That you that love to spoil and that love to spoil, when you stop spoiling, you shall be spoiled. In my language says, Apanujinia to Panujin. Or to buy the ten months with our power. Is that right? That if you like to spoil people, the day you stop spoiling them, someone else will spoil you. So whatever you, you sow, you shall be. You like to cause pain to people? Wait, just a matter of time. You like to bless people? It's a matter of time. You like to be assured that to those that are falling? It's a matter of time. No matter what you sow, it's just a matter of time you shall repeat. it. Praise the Lord. Yeah. What's the first one? Make it a call, make it a call. I never seen somebody that said, okay, please give me chicken jack and give me a wait for you. And they say, no, no, give me a small, small pint of kids that are chill. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen someone that is dead and they put it in the coffin? Have you ever seen them? Ah. And they will even try to. <laughs> and they will shave them. Ah! This life is speaking. They will shave them. And they will put one suit. And put one tie. Or put one in the A suit and a tie. And the most painful thing. They will not carry the body. Lock the coffin. The person that is always sleeping in mansion, in light, now lock the coffin. Have you ever seen a coffin that they put light or AC? So they will take someone that 
comes AC in every day and you walk in the coffin and you start saying you lower the coffin to a ground. Human beings are very funny. The ones that they need to know, they lower to and they start putting sand. They go, nah, 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 nah. And the most, the funniest part of it, it is the husband. The man said, ah. when they get home, they will never be eating dog. Alright? They will not be eating. They will not miss their pot. They will not miss the meat in the soup. Ah! And you may want to laugh. Now, if everything was okay, and they can take the soup, well, the person is there, and they can take the meat. If you want to know that people are wicked, if the husband dies, you give the wife food without meat. The tears will dry up. What are you to eat? I thought you were coming from here, man. You are ready to eat. Wisdom. Serve God when you are still alive. Don't let any material be stand with you by your Lord. For one day you shall leave those things behind. Praise the Lord. Number three. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 10. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 10 as we are up. We shall all be account of everything we are doing. We shall give account. Second Corinthians 5 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. That everyone may receive the things done in the body according to that which he has done, whether it be good or bad. There's a place called the judgment seat. That's where everyone will be judged. Is there 2 Corinthians 5 verse 10? On the right, the Bible. You will appear and you will be judged, including myself. And the most annoying thing is this we can post the scriptures that the Lord of God will be judged more than people that are in the scripture. Because you can't tell God, ah, God, I never knew about it. You know, you refuse to do it. You will get this guy. That's why most pastors will get them this slap already. I will say, I will say to them, I never knew you. Depart from the new work out of the new. Those are pretty. But men shall be called work out of the new witches for the last day. May God have mercy. Amen. Lastly, eternal life can be gotten only through Christ Jesus. John 3 16. Let's read together. Eternal life can be gotten only through Christ Jesus. For God so loved the world that now choose whether to believe in the Son of God and go to heaven or believe in Antichrist and the enemy of that life goes to hell. The good that you know to do and you refuse to do it is the same. James chapter 4, 17. Rise to the If you know to do good and you refuse to do it, my brother of God is a sin. Rise.
Where did you join people there? Not say that's what's in there. I don't want to go to where you guys are from. After that, I need to walk every day. I'm going to say five minutes.
Let's share the message fellowship. With the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, they will rest now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy are for us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let's share our pastor's voice. Surely, Showing goodness and mercy are following me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the